everyone, welcome back. I've missed you. So I've been spending uh, a lot of time on social media lately. I'm sure I'm not alone, but I came across a bunch of heatless curl hair tutorials where they used a bathrobe tie. Now, let me tell you, these are the best heatless curls that I have ever tried. Okay, this is the result. I'm like, can you believe that I didn't use any hot tools, but I loved them so much that I want to create a video and share them with you because they're so quick, they're easy, the results are beautiful, and there's no damage to your hair. So I'll link the inspiration down below and yeah. Let's get started. Okay, hair prep is so easy. The best part about these curls is they do not require wet hair. I find most heatless hair tutorials require your hair to be wet and then I wake up in the morning and my hair is so frizzy, but not with these ones. So you want like second or third day hair. Right now I have second day hair and it's just going to hold the curl the best. All right, so go ahead, part your hair where you want to wear it. Of course, I'm going with the deep side part and then separate your hair down the middle in the back. So you have two equal sections and just bring them forward. All right, so take your bathrobe, a scarf, some nylons. You just want something that is thin and as long or a little bit longer than your hair. And having a more plush robe tie like this will give you more bigger voluminous curls versus a silkier one will give you tighter curls. So whichever you prefer. I even saw some girls using long tube socks. So get creative if you have to. All right, so lay your tie over the top of your head so that both sides are equal. All right, so pick a side to start on and you just wanna grab like a two to three inch piece of hair right at your part. So now tightly pull this piece of hair back over the tie and then you wanna bring it underneath so it's wrapped around your tie and back at the front. So a little something like this. Then grab another two to three inch piece of hair. Just join it into this previous piece and then wrap it back and around your tie. And you want your twists to sit right below one another so that they're touching. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and grab all of the hair that's above my ear, join it into that previous section and just wrap it around the tie. All right, so once you're about here, you wanna make sure that you are directing the twists behind your ear and you're just going to repeat this pattern all the way down. And you wanna make sure as you're wrapping it that you're keeping it nice and tight. This is what's gonna help give you a nice defined curl. And then once you reach your neck, you can join it into that final section and you can just continue wrapping all the way down and making sure that your twists are touching one another. All right, once you reach the bottom, don't let go. You wanna keep this nice and tight and you just wanna secure the ends off with a small hair elastic, which can be kind of finicky, especially if you have like a long robe like mine, but it's worth it. <laughs> all right, once secure, if it did loosen up, it's all good. Just give it a little twist away from your face. The tightness is what's going to help create that curl since our hair is dry, so give it a little twist. All right, so now we're going to wrap them. This step is crucial. If you don't wrap it, it's going to loosen up as soon as you let go and you'll just have like really soft waves, which are still really pretty, but the wrapping part is key. So just give your hair a little bit of a twist and you just wanna wrap it up away from your face and have it sit right behind your ear. And this excess robe part, just keep wrapping it around. And then take a scrunchie, I find scrunchies work best, and just lock it into place. Okay, how's that? So it should look a little something like this. So this twisting part is key to get like really nice defined waves and it's surprisingly comfortable to sleep on. It just feels almost like a little bit of a pillow. It's nice and squishy. All right, super simple. So I'm just gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. Same idea, grab about two to three inch sections and just continue wrapping these sections away from your face, keeping everything nice and tight, making sure all your twists are touching. And quick tip, the smaller sections you grab, the tighter, smaller curls you're going to have. All right, once secure, give it a nice twist, tighten everything up, lock in those curls, and then bring your twist up and wrap it away from your face. Take your scrunchie and secure it. This is a look. This could have been a hair tutorial all on its own, but I'm gonna go get ready for bed. I'm going to find a way to carefully wash my face and I'll see you all in the morning. I can't wait to show you what these look like. Good morning. Well, actually it's afternoon, but let's take these out. They dropped a little bit, but we should still be good. So easy, just carefully remove your scrunchies first and then gently unravel your twists. And I'm just going to remove these little elastics. 
Okay, you ready? So now just gently unravel your hair, twist by twist. You wanna do it nice and carefully so that you don't create any knots, tangles, or frizz. Although these are comfortable, it feels so nice to take it out of your hair. Okay, look at these, how cute. So now you just wanna make your hand into like a claw. Just carefully and slowly break up all of the curls. I love these, I think they're so great. I'm gonna have to get my nieces to give this a go. I think it'd be so cute in their hair. And I was talking to my boyfriend earlier when I was taking these out and I was like, you know what? This would actually be kind of fun to do when you go camping. You know, you're sitting around the campfire at night, just whip your hair up into some rope curls. You wake up in the morning, you have like some nice hair going on. It'd be a nice change, right? All right, I'm gonna add a little dry shampoo since I'm on three-day hair. And this one is the Living Proof Dry Shampoo. I've really been loving this one. It works really great. Mm, it smells good too. And then a little bit of oil just to tame them. And then I'm just going to take a wide tooth comb and just gently brush them out a little bit more, but it's totally up to you what you want your curls to look like. All right, I think I'm going to stop here. They will fall throughout the day, but wow, I love these so much. It's so hard to believe that they were created without a curling iron. These are definitely my favorite heatless curls that I've ever tried. But definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you've tried these or if you're going to try them. And if you do recreate them, definitely tag me on Instagram so I can see them. I will link my information down below. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you found today's video helpful and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.